can't get online because of that annoying internet disconnect error? Don't worry, I've got the fixes you need to get back online fast. Hi everyone, I'm Jade from Rapid Cloud, where we help you keep your websites fast, secure and always connected. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix the Air Internet Disconnect error so you can get back to browsing without any hiccups. The Air Internet Disconnect error occurs when your browser is unable to connect to the internet. This error message indicates that your device is not currently connected to a network or that the connection was unexpectedly interrupted. Common causes of this error include a physically disconnected Ethernet cable, Wi-Fi being turned off, issues with the router or modem, or network settings being misconfigured. And software conflicts, like those with antivirus programs or firewalls, can also lead to this error by blocking network access. Essentially, the error tells you that your device cannot access the internet and it's often a sign that something is wrong with your connection or network configuration. Let's dive right into how you can fix this. First things first, check your internet connection. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on and you're connected to the right network. If you're using an Ethernet cable, ensure it's plugged in securely. A simple reconnection can often solve the problem. Also, try rebooting your router by unplugging it, waiting 10 seconds and plugging it back in. Once your internet connection is stable, try reloading the page. If your connection is fine but the error persists, it's time to check your network settings. Here's how to do it on Windows. Open Settings, then click on Network and Internet. Select Status and click on Network Troubleshooter to detect and fix issues automatically. On macOS, click on the Apple menu and go to System Settings. Select Network and under your current network connection, click Details. Then go to the TCP slash IP tab to ensure your network settings are configured correctly. Check if the error is resolved after verifying the settings. Next, let's try deleting wireless network profiles. Wireless network profiles store information about the Wi-Fi networks you've connected to, including security keys and network preferences. Sometimes these profiles become corrupted or outdated, causing connection issues. Removing old or corrupted wireless network profiles can resolve connectivity problems by forcing your computer to create a fresh profile upon reconnecting to a network. This process eliminates any errors or conflicts that may have been stored in the problematic profiles, leading to a more stable and reliable connection. To do that on Windows, click on the Start menu, then open Settings. Navigate to Network and Internet and select Wi-Fi. Click on Manage Known Networks, find the network you want to remove and select Forget. Restart your computer to apply the changes. On macOS, go to System Settings and click on Network. Select your current Wi-Fi connection and click on Forget Network at the bottom. Sometimes, the issue can be as simple as a cluttered browser. Clearing your browser's cache and cookies can help. On Google Chrome, click the three-dot menu, go to Settings and select Privacy and Security. Click Clear Browsing Data and make sure cookies and other site data and cached images and files are selected. Then hit Clear Data. This refreshes your browser, helping to resolve any lingering issues. If the error persists, your antivirus, firewall or proxy server might be blocking your connection. Temporarily disable your antivirus software and firewall to see if they're the cause. If you use a proxy server, go back to the LAN settings as mentioned earlier and ensure the proxy server option is unchecked. If disabling this resolves the issue, you might need to adjust their settings or switch to a different software. The DNS cache stores domain name resolutions, facilitating quicker access to frequently visited sites. But outdated or corrupt entries can cause connectivity issues. To flush your DNS cache on Windows, open Command Prompt as an administrator by typing CMD in the Start menu, right-clicking and selecting Run as Administrator. Type ipconfig slash flush DNS and press Enter. To do this on Mac, open Terminal by searching for it in Spotlight. Type the following sentence and press Enter. You will be prompted to enter your password and after entering it, 
DNS cache will be flushed. Finally, you might also be able to fix your internet connection by refreshing your IP address and transition control protocol with command line. To do that on Windows, open Command Prompt as administrator and type the following commands one by one and press Enter after each. Restart your computers to apply the changes. macOS doesn't offer a direct command to reset the TCP slash IP stack, but renewing the DHCP lease can have a similar effect. Go to System Settings and then Network. Select your current network and click Details. Select the TCP slash IP tab and click the Renew DHCP Lease button. This will reset your TCP IP stack, potentially resolving any lingering network issues. Just like a stable internet connection is crucial for seamless browsing, having reliable hosting is key to keeping your website online and accessible. With Rapid Cloud's high performance hosting, your site remains fast and secure no matter what. So, whether you're troubleshooting or scaling up, Rapid Cloud has got your back. Click the link in the description to learn more about how Rapid Cloud can improve your site's performance. And there you have it seven steps to fix the internet disconnect error and get back online. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more tech tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.